Morning all! It's morning. Morning is broken and we are here outside Bree's home. Yeah, drinking the fresh morning air. It smells so sweet. Or maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. Got some good hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. More selling, please. Uh, glass armor, yes, two of those. Ooh, an increase to my speech. Thanks, dear. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Some more selling. We are on a selling spree. Hello, friend. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Bows and arrows. We're doing well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your business. So what else we're gonna sell now? We've got we've got pretty much everything, I think. No more weapons. A couple of bits of apparel, perhaps, like the Adept Robes of Destruction. We could sell those to um, what's his face over in the Dragon's Reach. Any miscellaneous items? No, I think we're pretty much done. Once we go speak with the Yarl, we'll hand it into uh, what's he called? The Court Mage? <sighs> I have these mind blanks about names. Destruction is fine. Just don't go thirty down. Um, <laughs> the Court Mage, the Court Mage. His name's on the tip of my little tongue here. Ah, hello. Hello, hello, hello! Please tell me you have news of my son. Lucky for you that I do. Your son is safe. Is he? You've saved him? Oh, I must see him at once. Um, he, he's not returning here. He didn't think it would be safe. What? After all this, I can't even see him? How? How do I know you're telling me the truth? And not just what I want to hear. He said to give you a message. He said to tell you, suffer the winter's cold wind. For it bears aloft next summer's seeds. That's my boy. So it's true then. For now it's enough to know that he's alive. I can find peace in that. Thank you, dear friend. You've given me back my son. I'd had the Orland forge this for Thorald. It was to be a present for his return. I suppose he can't have it now. Why don't you take it? We can always make another for the day when this war ends and Thorald can come home. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you heard from Thorald? Uh, I doubt it. She's, uh... She, I've just told her that he's alive and she hasn't heard from him. So we'll check back with her in a few days' time to see if she's heard from him. Makes more you sense. You take care of yourself than asking now. her right away. Um, and what's this uh, hammer? I can't use it, but I can sell it. It feels kind of bad. I think kind of bad selling it. She's giving it to me out of the goodness of her heart. It used to be, it used to be her son's for, for a, a birthday gift. And I just go away and sell it. It's not, it's not marvelous, anyway. No disrespect, but it's hard to Sentry. Uh, but see if it. Oh, uh, we can disenchant it first. Thank you, Fralia. Always a pleasure helping old ladies. Normally I help them across the road, but well, saving their sons. Top out of the same deal, isn't it? Who's just trying to tow us there? Can we like ditch the horn on that particular shrine? Maybe that creature would have a bloody heart attack if you saw what you're trying to wrestle them there. Maybe it'll stop his incessant preaching. <laughs> am I going to remember that chap's name before I speak with him? I don't think I am. I caught chaplain. Caught chaplain. Caught wizard. Caught wizard. 
yeah. on the tip of my tongue, but it just won't roll off. Damn you. Curse you, memory banks. What's wrong with you? Here he is. Come on, I must remember. Damn you. Curses. I see his face and I still can't picture it. Hello, Faranga, that's the one. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss uh, the ongoing hostage. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. Uh, I think you'll appreciate this. I wasn't even close to getting your name right. Anyway, uh, circlet of extreme alchemy, gold jewelry, ring of minor destruction, uh, ring of extreme magic, uh, ring of recharging. Uh, all pretty useful rings. I keep all of them. Keep them all. I don't like to sell things that I've used, really. Okay. Thank you. Nothing that I you know, if you've got want. The attitude, you should join the Majors College in Winterhold. <sighs> join the Majors College? I run the Majors College, goddamn you. And I can't disenchant any of the stuff that I have, so uh, might as well sell them at the blacksmith for the next opportunity. That, that's the hallowed orchid bow and the steel warhammer of ice. We must have the enchantment for both of those. Which just leaves us to have a good old chinwag with the Jarl Balgruf. Let him know what I overheard. General Tullius and one of his senior officers discussing. So, uh, show me in a second after we just had a wee chinwag with the uh, Jarl of Winter, of, of, of White Run. <sighs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Okay, so obviously he gives a little bit of a speech there about how he's neutral, and that day has not yet come where I must draw my sword and pick a side. Well, Elwyn went on to explain that the day may be coming sooner than he thinks, and he better give a good long hard think about what he wants to do, because when Ulfric Stormcloak comes knocking on your door, well, it ain't a pretty sight if you don't <laughs> give him what he wants. <laughs> so we have, we have, we have warned the Arl. We have warned him good and proper, and anything that happens from this point forward, bid on his head. I would hate to see Whiterun reduced to ashes. I consider it a second home. The tree which I have resurrected in full bloom, breeze home, fond memories. You know, it would be a shame. But, uh, as far as Elwyn is concerned, he has done as much as he can to allow them to make the necessary preparations and to keep the College of Winterhold neutral. So, with that little quest completed, our selling foray has been done. We have had our fill for breakfast. The morning is still yet young. Time for us to head out of the doors and to the Shrine of Talos, or Talos, or however you wish to pronounce it, and see exactly what awaits us at the Shrine. Is it going to be a case of laying this horn by the shrine's feet and uh, saying a couple of words and coming away? Or will there be some Thalma waiting, patrolling, spying to see if there are any Talos worshippers left? Maybe we'll be captured and taken to their custody. Wouldn't that be something new? We shall have to see. I have a sneaky feeling. It's not going to be as straightforward as it first appears to be. Ah. Right, righty, 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 right. Um, we need to head out. 
Brilina, I hope you have your best fighting clothes on. Man, I haven't had a fight for two months, it seems. Will I be rusty in the field of battle? I was never an expert to start with. <laughs> You berate your dog, lovey. No need to be callous. point I'll be reading a book I would imagine. <clears throat> Some book which I've read but I haven't read any for a long time. <laughs> it's been an eternity since I've done any reading. It feels like... Come on Berlina, what are you doing? She doesn't know it takes this long. Guys ah, walking in twos. Doubles. Double crude? They must be expecting to- Oh, butterfly! I got you, got you! I've got to catch them all! Oh, there she comes, finally. Why is she carrying a shield? Like this is normal? I totally forgot! Still here. <laughs> I totally forgot she had some wares to sell. I'm amazed not a pawnbroker, you know. Deary me, Berlina, I forgot to take them from your hand. Right, the glass bow of dread. I'll take that. I take the mace, I take the, the dragon bone and scales, why not? I take the the, uh, just the the ebony boots, I take I take the dwarven shield of dwindling frost and the mage robes to sell them all and uh, the, the snow cat pelt and the rest is your stuff. You lead. I'll follow. Cheers. That's, that's better. Oh, I thought I had a dragon. Wow, what a way to test your metal. The first fight you've had on this game for two months and it could well be a dragon fight. Oh, talk about being back with a band. Or maybe we're just passing through. Yeah, I think it was passing through. It doesn't seem to be landing anywhere nearby. Oof. No shave. Right, so where on earth is this flaming... You need to be across the river? Oh, damn and blast station. We could have gone across before. We could have gone over the bridge there, look. We're, we're totally in the wrong zone here. We're in the wrong bloody zone. The oh, look, there's some rocks here. I can jump across the rocks. A bit of acrobatics. Oh, you're stupid, my bloody fallen in! Ah! Damn you, curse you! Stuck! Ah! Ah! Good grief! Ah, I could have just gone into the realms of the of the ethereal shout and gone across it. unimpeded Heard about you. ah never mind I'm cursed to have to walk around for the rest of the day with wet robes god hate the feeling of wet clothing stuck to you especially when it's cold it's horrible horrible Anyway, where is this shrine? I don't recall seeing any shrines around here. Uh, well, of course, I wasn't looking for a shrine before, so it might have just gone, sort of escaped my attention, but, uh, uh seems to... Hey, I got you. I got you, little fella. Whee! Move it! i lose it, sister! Be 
could be up on top. <clears throat> oh, uh oh, I oh no! <gasps> I just chased that deer away. Oh, cause and effect, eh? Cause and effect at its best. Well, that's at, its, at its worst. I feel awful. I chased that poor deer. I ran, a, you know, ran towards it. Ah, and scared it. It ran away and it ran into the path of a saber cat, or is that a bear that killed it? If I'd never scared it off, it would not be dead right now. Oh, that is horrible. How awful. That poor little animal's death is on my hands. I might need to put some shouts on, some uh, thingies on here, some spells. Nasty bear, you killed the deer! Not even for food! Ow! It's chasing me! It's chasing me! I'm gonna be out of stamina soon. Ah! What the hell? I see as well. Okay, a bit of tundra cotton and some butterfly wings that I have freshly plucked this morning. And off we go again. Right, where is this bloody shrine? Is it in the hill? It must be up top. Must be. Yeah. So how do I get up there? That's the next question. How do I get up? Is that a path? It doesn't look like a path to me. It looks very steep. Lena, you'll have to find your own way up. I am uh, going up this sort of makeshift path here. I know I've been here. I've definitely been to this place, haven't I? Shimmer Miss Cave. Yeah, I've definitely been in there. So we go up here. Keep going up. So, uh, 
once I go back to uh, Solitude and inform the Jarl that I have done what she requested and no doubt received some kind of a reward for our services, I suppose we'll head back to the Winking Skeever and we'll uh, call the session to a close there. I think it might just be shorter than an hour, but uh, it's, it seems like a suitable place to end. So it's a little bit of a dipping our toe into the water type situation. Not quite back in full swing in terms of questing and blasting things to death and going in a cave and retrieving something, but uh, just a nice slow steady session just to get us back into the Skyrim groove. So I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed what we've done in, in, a, in a way. so well last time for us when we tried to be adventurous. Ah, Nenrut, I hear thee chiming away, but I can't see thee. Where thee is? Hey, why am I speaking in this strange land? Oh, there it is. Nenrut, Nenrut, how we crave you so. I try to think of a line to finish that particular Poet, that po poem. Nah, I can't do it. Poetry is not my strong point. If it was, I might be in the uh, Bard's College. But I, well, I am an honorary member. But not for my, not for my lines of poetry or my songwriting ability or my ability to play an instrument. And Elwin, well, <laughs> has no talents for anything like that, unfortunately. He won't be writing any, you know, record hits. Won't be melting women with his soft, sultry lines of poetry. He'll just melt them with fire instead. <laughs> right, here we are. Need a ride? Yes. I'll just take one last look. I don't think there's anything else left for us to do here. On the yarl, I've talked to Frowny Greymane, that's about it. Right, back to uh, Solitude, please. I'll take you to any of the hold. Ca My carriage is the safest. Where do you want to go? Uh, Solitude, <coughs> thank you so much. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okay, thank you. There once was a hero named Ragnar, the red queen riding to <coughs> right run from all glory. Uh, now I imagine Elwyn is going to be singing this godforsaken song the entire trip back. It's going to be stuck in his mind. That's what you, that is your challenge for the day. I challenge you. I'll do it at work when I, I'm going to work in about two hours time. I'll do it to, at work if you do it too. Pick a really annoying song that is really catchy. You know, one of those classics like, you know, Club Tropicana, drinks are free. Something really so, so cheesy and crap, but once you get it stuck in your mind, you can't like, get it out. I challenge you, whatever you're doing today, if you're working with a particular person or if you're going out with a particular person for, for lunch or whatever, just sing a really annoying song a couple of times over, just a couple of lines from the song, just sing it, the, the most annoying repetitive bit, and watch it get stuck in their mind, and they'll be humming the tune or singing the tune, it'll be stuck in their mind all day, and, they'll, and they will curse you for it. They say, what you got that song stuck in my head for? It's rubbish. That's your challenge for the day, folks. Get an annoying song stuck in someone's head. And then report back on the comments page. Did you succeed? And what song did you get stuck in someone's head? The most annoying songs. We have compile a list. <laughs> that is today's challenge. It happens to me all the time at work. Um, obviously, when I when I work, I sometimes I sometimes um, crew up with somebody, and we're in the car, and 
was just a weird song will come and I'll just hum a tune. Ooh, I, can't, I can't think off the top of my head, but I'll hum a particular tune. And um, it might be too late to hand in this quest. We'll hand it, we'll hand it in in the morning. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to... No, I want to know what the reward is. I don't want to raise her out, raise her out of bed, though. Yeah, I'll sing it. I'll hum a tune, or my colleague will hum a tune, and that'll be it. The song will be stuck in my head for hours, or it'll be stuck in her head or his head for hours, and <laughs> it's quite a, it's quite funny. And sometimes you just do it subconsciously. You'll hear a song on the radio, and you'll be humming it, and then you'll forget totally. You'll totally forget about it, and then they'll start humming the tune as well. Yes. And you're like, where did you hear that? Oh, was I singing it earlier? I don't remember. Welcome to the winking. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay, let's go. I'll show you to your room. No, it's fine. You're gonna show me anyway, but I'm fine. Thank you. Really, I am. It's, it's 12.40 a.m. I'm tired. I just want to maybe sip on some spiced wine and get my head down for the night. <sighs> okay. Well, might as well end here. It's where we usually do end. So join me next time, folks, when we shall head to the Blue Palace to inform the uh, Jarl that we have done her wishes and honoured her dead husband by placing his horn at the feet of the Shrine of Talos. And then we shall head out to Broken Or Grotto to uh, find the, the something or other. What was it? The Moon Amulet or something? names escape me now and then the moon amulet yes we'll go and do that quest line and if that's a short quest line then we might even have time to head to the big one the one that we've had for some time here investigating the Galder legend so those are the two remaining quests and those are the two that we shall be cracking on with so that we can finish up here in the Hafingar hold and we can move on to pastures new Riften perhaps who knows where the quest will take me next and don't spoil it, please. So yes, you have your challenge for the day. Report back in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed today's Skyrim session. Happy birthday, Brian. I hope you've had a good day. And uh, to the rest of you, see you next time.